Hello, stylists. Welcome back to the Full Style Inc. channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the creator and founder of Full Style Inc. It is fall. Happy fall, everyone. I hope you have been enjoying your pumpkin spice sweater weather self this season. <laughs> so far, I hope your fall is off to a really, really good start. I know I am. I am feeling the vibes, even though the weather here in Chicago doesn't want to know if it wants to be spring or slight summer. So, it's fall, and with fall comes fall essentials, fall fashion, fall wardrobe. What are we doing? What are we wearing this fall? And I know in years past, I have done like a shopping guide, but this year I want to do a style guide to better explain why we gravitate towards these things in the fall, as well as how to put together certain things that, you know, you are recommended and certain fall style pieces that you're inspired by for some of your other um, content creators or things that you may see online or in store how to put those things together so the breakdown of this video is going to be the essential pieces that everyone needs in their father wardrobe now when i say everyone i mean everyone who within budget is looking to add or looking to highlight certain things that's already in their closet a lot of these things you may already have so you do not have to go out and buy new things you do not have to go out and chase those trendy style pieces you may already like i said have these in your wardrobe and you want to incorporate some of the trends that are trendy now but make it your style make it fit within your budget make it fit within who you are because that's the whole point of style style is something that's in our dna is something that we inherit is something that who we are and what we do with fashion Whereas fashion itself is something that you consume. You can buy that, but you can't create, you can't buy style. You get it? You get it. Okay, let's go. So these are my fall wardrobe essentials for fall. <laughs> First up um, is lightweight and or layering tops, such as tees, button ups, turtlenecks and even corsets and when i mean something lightweight i mean something that's either sheer cotton a lightweight um jersey a knit something that can be worn under or over something for instance something as a a turtleneck can be worn under a button-up can be worn under a sweater can be worn under a crop top or a corset a T-shirt can be worn under dresses, under a blazer, a button-up, under dresses, under a blazer, under a corset. There is, these pieces are versatile, meaning that they can be worn in a number of ways, as well as they can carry through seasons, um, season after season. So these are essential pieces that everyone needs and everyone should have in their wardrobe. The tees can be any color, but a standard that I like to have is a plain white and a plain, a plain black. And if you feel a little fancy, you go with like an olive green or a nice dark navy blue. Same things with the button-ups. The button-ups can go, they could be women button-ups or men button-ups, but you just like a nice standardized um, basic. These are the basics to build your wardrobe off of. And the same thing for me goes with crop tops and corsets and bustiers. Those are all layered in with each other. And those can be standards and basics, but they also can be a little bit more jazzy, a little bit more fun because those are good things that you can wear over the corset, over the button up, over the tees and the turnex for a nice little fun, you know, action. <laughs> Next up is a structured bottom. And when I mean a structured bottom, I mean like a structured pants. Uh, so that's anything from jeans, cargoes, tailored um, trousers, wide leg, oh, looks great with a boot. Um, something that has um pleats at the top or those pants that have the crossover fly something that gives you structure gives you fun it could billow it could taper but billow at the hips to give you a nice 
fun silhouette to play with. They can be layered and paired with your tops and your button ups. They are really fun and funky and cool. They can come in a variety of textures, fabrics and prints from denim to camo to like a nice wool to a nice tweed, something that gives you layer, texture and dimension in your outfits. Those things are really fun to play with as the seasons change, as the colors and the falls evolve. You don't have to go into your blacks and looking drab. You can really get into that. We're getting, we're going to get into color and texture in a minute, but those things are things to look for when you're looking through your own wardrobe or you're shopping online or you're in the store. Nice structured, um, like not heavy, but like a nice structured pant. Moving on to one of my favorite garments, my favorite structural pieces of all time, my favorite garments of all time is a skirt. I love skirts for the fall. They are so, so fun. Um, skirts can be worn all year round, of course, but these types of skirts are really, really pinnacle in the fall time. And that is a denim skirt or suede skirts, um, whether that is a midi length or maxi length. I don't really do mini skirts for me on my body type for, for my style preference, for my comfort. My booty is too big for a mini. <laughs> I'm unconvinced. However, minis are really cute um, in the fall, depending on how they're layered in style. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to talk about mini and maxi. Um, whether it's denim, whether it's a, a suede, whether it's like a nice tweed, those things are really fun with layering or even like a nice wool, depending on how cool your fall weather gets. These things can be layered under, over things. They can be, they can be worn on their own or layered over a, a pair of nice fitted pants, leggings, tights. We have dresses. The possibilities are endless with dresses. I love a look of a nice dress, um, a maxi length dress that hit the floor and then you have the coat and then, oh my God. Okay, so when I say dresses, I mean like sweater dresses, button up dresses, slip dresses. This also goes into the same format as the tops and the bottoms on how they can be layered. These are the quintessential things that can be worn in multiple ways you can wear a sweater dress on its own or layered on top of a t-shirt a turtleneck or a button up or layered under a corset depending on the, the 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 width the not the width the weight of that sweater whether it's a loose knit sweater or it's a more chunky knit that can be worn in a variety of different ways. The same thing with a button up dress. Something, when I mean a button up dress, I mean a dress that has buttons that go all the way down to the hem of the dress. Those things can be styled numerous of, numerous of ways. Um, opened, closed, over a pair of pants, under a corset for just, just ugh. And then as well as slip dresses, again, can be worn on top of the button up, on top of the tee, under a sweater, under a corset, under a corset on top of a turtleneck. Let's just, you, you see what I'm saying. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. Let's, let's carry on. Next, we have outerwear. Now, outerwear is separate from um, this the next category. And I chose to separate these differently because they can vary with the type of material, their structure, and how you style them. So when I mean outerwear, I mean a trench coat, a lightweight wool coat, um, a parka like rain coat, a heavy-ish denim jacket, as well as a shacklet that is more out, made out of flannel. Um, these things are great layering pieces. You can go real, depending on the weather, again, where you at, you can go real light with your layers underneath and then finalize it with a, a bit heavier jacket. Say it's like a brisk, beautiful 55 degrees and you're feeling fun and flirty. Okay. You can go with a t-shirt, a graphic tee. Uh, a slip dress, right? Okay. 
a slip dress to give you a nice little flowy, flowy, or a button-up dress to give you a nice little flow, funky, and then you can top that over with like a heavier denim jacket so that you have that structure, you have that weight, so you're not cold by the tee and the slip dress, um, but you are... But you, you have the denim jacket to add you, you know, weight. I'm, when I mean denim jacket, like a heavy denim jacket, I mean like those vintage denim jackets. Like, ooh, those are so nice. Um, moving on to the next category that is a subcategory of the first one, outerwear, that is being jackets. So this is not stuff that you will wear out on their own. This is stuff that you can wear underneath. So just how I spoke to about the tee, the slip dress. Um, we have blazers, dusters, a lightweight denim jacket. So with a tee... With the tee, with the slip dress, you can put a blazer on top and then you can finalize that entire look with a crop leather jacket or a trench coat, depending on where you're going, what's the occasion. So you can take multiple pieces that I've shown, I've told you so far and layer them over each other. So you, you can definitely layer a blazer under a trench coat. Uh, you can definitely layer a duster under a denim jacket. It it all depends on those fabric weights and how they look and fall together as well as, of course, the occasion. Next up, we have sweaters. And I mean sweaters of all kind, whether it's a chunky knit or a loose knit, something that is a little bit more loose, has a, um, not sheer, but has like a lighter weight to it that are great layering pieces as well as cardigans whether it's a full grandpa cardigan or a long sleeve um duster like sweater cardigan as well as hoodies and sweatshirts it is Di princess diana season her sweatshirts with her biker shorts and sneakers and chunky socks are in full swing and i absolutely love it sweaters can hoodies and sweatshirts can be again paired under blazers depending on how big oversized that blazer is it can they can be worn with a skirt and a sneaker or a skirt and a boot there is new oh so cute running errands looking good looking fabulous so i absolutely love sweaters of this variety during the fall season um next up we're going to move into some of the funner funner pieces and that is the accessories and i'm gonna start off with the footwear when i think of fall footwear i think of sneakers i think of a combat boot um a dark martin oof, a platform boot um and even an ankle booty whether it's a heel ankle booty or it's a flat ankle booty i absolutely love boots and sneakers in the fall with sneakers, you can wear the chunky, chunky um, socks. With the boots, you can get into like the tights and the and the socks layered um, on top of the tights that goes into the boot. It absolutely you can dress these items up or down depending on where you're going, what you're wearing. They are quintessential in a fall uh, wardrobe. And then going on to accessories, I just categories rise all of these things together but I will be breaking them down we have a wide belt and when I'm like a wide OB belt or like the denim like the denim love the denim or leather apron style belts that are very very popular right now um like the workman belts with the different pockets for like added texture and layer if you don't want to wear a purse that is also something you could use to actually use for pockets or you just want to add a little bit of flair and fun to a look they can be worn over a dress they can be worn over a blazer for cinching in and adding definition to the waist then we have harnesses i absolutely am loving harnesses for me they are they like a segue of a corset they can be worn over a simple button up with a pair of jeans and a blazer on top <sighs> or they can be worn up over a tee with a tee a blazer over top the blazer so the harness is over top of the blazer with a pair of wide distressed jeans mm. then we have hats such as berets baseball hats um bucket hats those really do add the cherry on top to an outfit they can elevate a look they can bring up 
upon a different style and variety to what your wardrobe is giving and what your wardrobe is doing. And then we have bags. And I'm talking top handle bags, structured um, tote bags, and even backpacks. And then again, those um, type of harnesses, harness bags that can be worn, that be slung over the body. Those things look absolutely great. And those could be made in a denim, a leather, a suede, uh, a heavy uh, canvas. Oh, I'm seeing it. It looks amazing in my mind. Next, we have scarves. And this can be um, lightweight, flowy scarves that can be worn around the head, around the neck. You can tie them in various different ways, whether it's the silky um, satin scarves or like those lightweight wool scarves, um, knitted scarves that can be worn for an added layer of warmth if it's like rainy or whatever. Or it's just a little bit chilly. And then lastly, we have tights. Tights I put in the accessories categories instead of like a actual under actual clothing garment because tights can be really, really worn to add to a look. Wearing tights with a pair of shorts, for instance, and a nice boot adds to the look. It adds to a later, it brings another thing. You can wear tights underneath your slip dresses or your flowy button-up dresses for warmth if it's a little too breezy and your legs are freezing and you really don't want a pair with like a legging or pants. You can do for a nice, cute, fun tight or a nice, simple tight. They have tights in different colors now. They have tights in different styles and configurations. The dazzled sparkle tights that can be worn dressed up or dressed down. Right? So, speaking of tights in the different configurations and bedazzled and sequenced tights, I'm going to move into the textures. I'm going to move into what makes an outfit an outfit, how it's layered and styled together, what are we doing, what is going on, why. So, when I talked about these garments and these pieces, many of you probably pictured them as is, which is cool, which is fine. But I want you to think outside of the box and think about the different story, style stories you can be telling, color stories you could be telling in your garments. I want you to think of bold prints such as checked, check print, houndstooth, stripes, or even moody, dark, moody floors. A nice dark, moody floor in like a brown or a purple or a black and white, um, a, even like a gray, really adds depth and dimension to a look. Same thing with a stripe or a houndstooth, whether you do a print blocking where the top is one print and the bottom is a complementary print or you have that print on one piece of your look and that print is the statement. That print is the focal point. Next, I'm um, dealing with textures itself. We're talking about the actual fabrics, the fabrication that goes into the fall and how to build this up in your look. And that is sweet, that is knit, suede, denim, leather, tweed, wool. Depending on your climate and how cool or warm your fall is, is dependent on how you can layer this up. I started off with suede, then move it to denim, then move it to suede. Sorry. I start off with knit, denim, suede, leather, wool, tweed, because for me, those elevate um, in their in their weight and how uh, warm and hot they go to get. So you can do an all knit look. Um, or a cotton look and then you can throw a denim or suede in the coats in the pants or even even in the top or the bag to add depth and dimension to your look <laughs> next think about the color palette like what 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 are we saying we're not doing drab and dark and um, unless we'd like to do it in a dark moody or you want an all black look, which is fine. But you don't have to throw away your colors just because it's fall. Summer and spring is not the only time you can have color. You definitely can bring in fun pops and bold colors. So think warm tones. Think your oranges, your browns, your reds. Even like some of your, your, your mid-tone to dark yellows. Um, you're thinking jewel tones. So we're thinking rich 
emerald green, sapphire blue, ruby red. Um, like I said, even those golden brown tones, even those golden yellow tones. And then again, you want to play with chrome. You want to play with metallics. We have silver, we have gold, we have chrome. So you can even get into sequence. Oh my God, I love a good sequence in the fall sequence sequence is not just for the winter holiday season you can definitely play around with sequence in the fall and then you also want to sit down and look at a color wheel maybe i'll do that as an artist i will sit down and explain how a color wheel. You can play with complementary colors. You can play with split complementary colors. You can play with a monochromatic look where you're head to toe in one color and then you pop in another color to just break it up or to add just a little bit more depth to it. Or you can play with two colors that are sit side by side on the color wheel to really add fun and funk to the look. Um, that really elevates and enhances a fall look when and you're you're also working with the environment itself the falls as they turn colors and you're in this yellow and orange or you red and yellow red and orange look or you in this brown and red look oh my god or blue and brown look so 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 good so Stylers, I that is it for my video. I hope that makes sense. I, of course, am leaving examples all on the screen for you to, um, to visualize and help you further along in your styling journey. Um, have fun with your wardrobe. Play dress up. Take some of the things that I've mentioned, pull them out of your closet, and just play dress up. Or... If you don't have some of this stuff and you don't have what you want or need, it is okay to go to a store if you feel comfortable going in shopping. I know. I know. Go to, if there's an Eloquy in your location, go to a Target. Pull some things off the rack. Set your camera up um, so you can see yourself and play dress up in the dressing room. And then if you decide to make a purchase there, fine. If not, you can always come back or even a thrift store. You can always go home, sit, look at yourself on camera and see how those things look on your body, how you feel about them. And so you can see what works for you, what styles, what textures, what colors work for you. So if you're if you're more comfortable, you can go when you're out shopping more, you can see or you can just order some things online or work with the stuff that you have in your closet and just pick up those one or two pieces that you need or you would like to add to your wardrobe. Um, by all means, please play dress up, play around with your clothes, go to a store, play in the clothes <laughs> in the store. I am not telling you to run out and buy all these things. That's why I stopped the shopping guide videos. Um, I want to show you how you can reuse what you have as well as thrifting. This is a great guide to look for when you're thrifting. Okay, stylers. I hope you have enjoyed this breakdown of fall, fall wardrobe essentials and the why. Why are we doing the things that we're doing? Why are we looking for the pieces that we're looking for and how? I hope this explains. I hope you are enjoying your fall season. I hope you're enjoying your day. And I pray that you have a, a beautiful rest of your day. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. If you're new here, hey, darling, how are you? Thank you for sticking around. Make sure you leave, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. Any input you would like to add. And what you would, what is your... Favorite things you're looking forward to this fall. Like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for the next video. Remember that you are love. You are worthy to be loved. But always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time, stylist. Bye.